You know, these young starlets have really made a sharp left turn out of hyper wholesome fare into extreme debauchery. So here's the question this morning. Is making the transition from squeaky clean to grinding, gun-toting wastrels a, a reckless career move or a brilliant bit of risk-taking? Where's the money? Spring Breakers contains a royal flush of the kind of delinquent behaviors that give parents heartburn. Drinking, drugs, unprotected sex, armed robbery, and bad grammar. Come on, y'all. Why act suspicious? But the most surprising thing about the movie is its cast. Three of the stars got famous in very clean tween and teen entertainment. There's Selena Gomez from the Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place, also known as the ex-squeeze of Justin Bieber. Ashley Benson of ABC Family's Pretty Little Liars, and Vanessa Hudgens of High School Musical. And it was so cool. In Spring Breakers, they play college students who rob a diner to pay for a trip to Florida, where they hook up with a tweaker gangster with bad hair named Alien, played by James Franco. So will this movie be good or bad for the careers of these young starlets? We can't say what kind of effect this will have on their careers, but we can say that they're very excited about the project. Last week, Gomez told Entertainment Tonight she has no regrets about taking on this racy role. At the end of the day, we're proud of this movie. We really are. And the decision we made, we stand by and we love it. There is plenty of precedent for this kind of transition from innocent to raunchy. Justin Timberlake went from this, this to this. Britney Spears from this to this. Christina Aguilera was a teen star too, before getting significantly more risque. The reviews for Spring Breakers have ranged from rapturous, the New York Times called it transfixing, to horrified, the Houston Baptist Collegian called it putrid. Either way, it's outperforming at the box office. Even though it was only released on a limited number of screens, it cracked the top 10 list over the weekend, bringing in more than 5 million bucks. And really, there's the rub. In a business where the box office is king, ticket sales may be the final arbiter of whether these formerly pristine teen princesses have made a wise career choice. Well, you piqued my interest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I'm interested in seeing it. And, 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 and the reviews have, have been, been very, really very good. positive. Yeah. You said New York Times. New York Times was truly rapturous. All right. Really Thank you so much, Dan.